Hello everybody and welcome back. As you can see, we have a new little guy here. <laughs> I want to introduce everyone to Bob. We just adopted Bob and we are so excited. And what's exciting is he's a 311 baby. So he was born on March 11th, just a couple weeks after Gus. Gus was born on February 25th of last year and Bob was born on March 11th of last year. So Gus is loving being a big brother and someone to play with other than a cat. So we are happy that Bob is part of our family now. He's a little, he's a, a dash hound, dachshund, doxy, wiener dog. Yes. Huh. Can you say hi to the world? Say hi world. Yeah, and mommy have some kisses before we start. I feel like that's such a good primer, right? Puppy kisses. Your mama's puppy kisses. No, he's tired now from running all over. <laughs> Come on. Up. Up. <gasps> and there's Gus. <laughs> oh! All right, so for today's look, and yes, my nails are falling off and I need to go get them filled so bad. Just have not had time. So I apologize in advance for my janky nails. So for today's look, we're going to be doing more of a natural look, something that some of us would wear to either work, church, things like that. Something that maybe some of us feel more comfortable. This is more of something up your alley and colors are kind of not there yet for you. We're going to do a look just for you and for me because I'm going to church here shortly. So without further ado, let's zoom you all in and get started. Right, so something that I love about this palette is that the colors, it has a great range from neutral to some pinky mauve colors. All right, so for eyebrows, we're gonna do those really quick. We're going in with the NYX. This is the Micro Brow Pencil, and this is in the shade Cool Ash Brown. Combing it down helps me see where I need to create that outline for my brows. And then going under and creating that line down there. And then with just hair-like strokes, kind of fill in where I need. And then just kind of comb through it just to make sure that it's not too blocky, that it looks more natural than anything. Other side, same thing, same concept. And this one has always been a little fuller than this other eyebrow here. I'm not sure why, it's just story of my life. And that is how I do my eyebrows. So then going in next with the P. Louise, this is the base that I use for my eyes. Today's shade is going to be Rumor 0.5. So now with a flat dense brush we're gonna go in and pack this bad boy in there and a little bit goes a long way with this product which is really nice and it will last you a very long time now I do have an affiliate link down below where I do get some pennies if you do decide to purchase this base if you do use it let me know what you of course I did put a little bit too much so we'll move it over here which is the nice thing about this product and I try to get it as close to my lash line as possible I'm gonna try to do as best as possible as well with my eyebrow getting it up there and I want just a little bit right in there because I will be putting just a little pop of color down product around ever so slightly just to get it where I want it. Now going out that same double ended brush we're going to use the fluffy side and we are going to set it. We're going to use the shade Come Here Often. And 
I do this just because I want to set it. I'm trying to get no creases, no wrinkles. Typically try to use more of a skin tone color on the base. But you can always use whatever color that you would like. So that way it can be the foundation for your eye look. So now going to this next side. Get just a smidge more. Very little as you can see. Just want to make sure I'm packing it as close to my lash line as possible. guys use any kind of base for your eyeshadow looks? If so, what do you use? I used to use MAC Paint Pots, which I absolutely love them. However, they seem to dry out rather quickly and I didn't get to fully use it before it dried out and that made me frustrated. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how I put down a foundation for my eyeshadow look. This, I'm gonna put down a transition shade. This is the color Just Friends. I'm gonna go in there. So for the transition shade, I'm gonna be using this fluffy brush. This is the Jeffree Star Morphe JS5. So I like to pop it just in my crease but because it is a fluffy brush it will work itself up which is what we want for having hooded eyes a lot of my eye looks get lost in my crease if I don't take them up just slightly and we let the brush do a lot of the work for us and every so often just look straight ahead to see where you are going with the product just to make sure that you're not getting it too far beyond where you want it to go. So now going in with this brush, which I do have to clean, but you'll see the product will not come off on it. This is the Jeffree Star X Morphe JS6. We're going to be going in with this shade here, which is Double Tap. We're just putting it a little bit lower than that transition shade, kind of really working it into that crease, letting the brush do a lot of the work for us. I like a swirl sometimes and a nice windshield wiper motion, which reminds me I need to replace my windshield wiper blades. PSA, for those of you that need to replace your windshield wipers, please do it soon because we are coming upon shortly, before you know it, the rainy season. I would hate y'all to get into a bad situation to where it's raining and your windshield wipers just are not doing their job. All right, so now that is looking wonderful and great. I would like to put down just a little bit of a darker color. So for this next color, we're going to be using the Morphe X Jeffree Star JS12. We're going to be going in with Dating History, which is this color right here. I'm just smoking it out on the lash line. Shade names always crack me up. I'm pulling it up, which don't worry, we will fix whatever we need to fix when we are done. Pull your eyelid a little bit. Some say this will cause wrinkles, yada yada yada. Honestly, you could be watching TV and you'll somehow still get wrinkles. It's just part of life. As you get older, the collagen leaves your skin and it's just not as full and plump anymore. And now this looks super crazy. However, we're gonna go in with a super fluffy brush. This is the JS9 from Jeffree Star X Morphe. And we're just gonna marry everything together. And then you 
know you're doing it right when you get some of the color on your brush. Because you just want to diffuse and marry those colors together. Now I do want to go in with a flat brush. Sorry, I always forget. This is like a mirrored image. So this is the P. Louise. This is the E36. Now I do want to go in with across the room, which is this shade right here. Ever so slightly underneath my eyebrow. I'm not getting a lot on my brush. I'm gonna just push it in there because I don't want to blend too much. Now I do want to use a lighter shade on the center of my eyelid going back in with a little bit of the base that we have on our brush. So I want just a little bit more so we can see the color come through. All right, going on with that same fluffy brush, we're gonna go in with eye contact. Now it's gonna look super crazy, but that's okay. Because we can blend it out. I want that look of a highlight on my eyelid. Now going in with a fluffy brush, a very very fluffy brush, just to blend it all together. With that same flat brush from P. Louise, we're gonna go in with across the room and pop it on our inner corners. I always love it when the dogs do such a deep sigh. So dramatic like yeah your life here is so terrible you get fed somebody scoops up your poop so hard now going back in with that dense uh, brush again wipe it off which I love using one of these bad boys we're gonna go in with double tap just to give that line a little color and don't worry we will clean this up with with our foundation. Now I am thinking that this look is done because I am loving it so far. I know some angles it's really hard to see. For some reason this camera doesn't always pull the colors properly, which never fear because we are getting a new one here shortly. I did ask for one for Christmas and I'm getting ready to celebrate Christmas with my family since I didn't get to spend actual Christmas with them. And I'm hoping Santa brought it to their house. So for the face, we're going to use the primer from Milk. This is the Hydro, Hydro Grip Primer. I like just like to rub it in and then push it in. I did buy this four piece sponge and puff set from FabFitFun, I do believe, from their add ons. And I love it because I live in Vegas and Full House, you know. I love it because the sponges come as different, different sponges, different puffs. this little thing here, the sample from Sephora. This is the one size foundation in the shade Light One. I'm just gonna use a flat brush, foundation brush, just to put it on. Two, 
you to do Sunday school with one of the age groups for the kids. I'm very excited. Although, thinking about it, it really has me missing the kids. So, a little hard, but it's for the greater good. I just want to use this sponge, push more back in here. And it felt like a little bit went a long way. Now, I did exfoliate my lips. Let's drag it down a little bit. Although the lady at Sephora really did a good job of matching me. She was so patient and I wish I got her name because she is wonderful. She works at the Sephora in the Coles right here by my house. So I'm very thankful for her. She was awesome. And as you can see, it is covering nicely. It covered some of those blemishes that I had. Did break out a little bit because over Christmas break, Christmas and New Year's, I was not using I was not using my retinol. So using it again made my skin freak out just a little bit. Now with a very super fluffy brush from Baddington. We're gonna go in with the Becca primer, the Hydra Mist Set and Refresh. I just want to put a little bit down on the foundation before going in with any blush. I love how my friends in the UK call it blusher. I do think my friend Helen in Australia, I do believe she possibly calls it that as well. What do you call blush? So I don't know if you can see or not, but it is laying very nicely on my skin. Now obviously I don't have a beauty filter on my camera, so you're seeing it all. And honestly I will never use a beauty filter because beauty filters for a long time, the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. So for a long time there was a beauty influencer named Jaclyn Hill. Her makeup, I got so upset because I would follow her tutorials to a T. And my makeup never turned out like her makeup and I couldn't understand why for the longest time. Come to find out, she was using beauty filters. Which made me hate makeup for a very long time. We're gonna go in with the Wonder Beauty Mile High Club Mascara. Just put it on my bottom. It will focus. So for blush, we're gonna go in with the Milani. This is the shade 13 Wild Rose. I'm gonna go in with this fluffy bad boy right here. This is from P. Louise. This is the F40. And I like to put my blusher up a little bit higher first. I've noticed that doing that and then bringing it down is just a little bit better for me with my face. Now you can apply blush however you want. That's the nice thing about makeup. There's color theory, but there's no real rules to makeup. Unless you're just doing some crazy out there things that are either dangerous or telling people that this is the correct way to do something. And I do love this angled brush just because you can, it helps you blend up instead of being so fluffy. You can actually use the pointed in the more fluffier area and push it up and drag it up like so. So I do love using my Chanel bronzer, which is in the shade Tan Medium. Which I have used a lot of. And then we're gonna go in with this brush here. This brush is the P. Louise, this is the F43. And I just 
just kind of mash it in here. Just warm up my hairline and my face just a little bit. Now I am putting it a little bit on top of the blush. Not much though. Still just staying right on that cheekbone. goddess. I'm going over top of it with a powder bronzer, just a little bit of the NARS Laguna. Going in with more of a tapered brush from P. Louise. This is the F42. There's nothing on it. I'm just trying to get some straight hairs that I feel. Going in with a just plain fluffy brush just to Use a little bit of this out and get some of those straight hairs on my face. Going in with this tiny little eye brush here. Going in with the Too Faced Diamond. Just doing a little bit here on my nose. Just a little bit here. Not too much though because I don't really want to accentuate the fine lines I have on. Now I will, before putting on lip product, go in with the Urban Decay. This is the All Nighter Spray. And while that dries, I'm gonna take a coffee break. Now we are going to go in with the Velvet Lip Liner from Seat, Seate London. This beautiful shade right here. This is called, called nothing apparently. I'm not sure what it's called. I'm gonna go in with the Pat McGrath Labs in Soft Core. And those hairs are from me, so this is not a lipstick gate. <laughs> Actually, this is too pink. It is way too pink. Not more of a mauve tone. So this is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is in the color Pillow Talk. I'm gonna get that top color off of there. All right, despite the lip color, which I think now seeing it from further away <laughs> makes me look and feel a little bit better about this look, I am definitely loving the way the eye look turned out. Not so happy about my hair being crunchy, but I digress. I'm gonna go put on some church clothes. I will pop on to my phone when I get a chance and let you guys know how I like it, if I like it, if I don't like it. Do a wear test and see how that goes and, and see how that goes and come back and let you guys know my final thoughts. Hey guys, I'm back from church, so let's zoom on in and see how this look held up. Let's take a closer look and let's talk about my final thoughts on this whole, this whole get up today. All right, so first things first. So I like how the foundation held up. I did get a little oily and the oil is coming through, through my foundation, but not as bad as I would think. And it also could be a little, not as, fresh looking because it did rain and it rained on me when, when I was walking the dogs after church. But overall, I do like that I don't look cakey. It's been, what time did I, I left for church? I finished this video at 8.30, so it's noon now, so 8.30, so 9.30, 10.30, 11.30, 11 so that's three and a half hours approximately that this makeup has been on. I'm gonna leave it on the rest of the day and just see how it how it pans out the rest of it but so far everything looks great the only thing I think that is kind of faded a little bit is just a little bit but not too much but I like the way it's faded because 
naturally it just it looks good is the bronzer and the blush is just faded down to a really pretty natural looking color and I'm really loving that and I'm absolutely loving just the way it turned out and the texture is coming through but it's a natural looking texture it's not it's not as if it's caked like even look at that, that form. Uh, it's not settling too much into my lines it is just a little bit right here but that could be because of me um, it did rub off a little bit here where I did um, go like this a couple times in church because my nose itched but otherwise from a distance Hey guys, post editing Bex here, and for some reason we have lost audio in the last part of this video. I wish I could read lips and I wish I could tell you exactly what I'm saying, but uh, it looks like I'm just basically going over and telling you guys what I think of how the makeup look wore down. And obviously I'm really liking this foundation. I'm going to continue to try it more and see how it works on on my skin and see in different situations and uh, wear test and like, going to work how it, how it fades down going to church seeing how it fades down and other things like that so again I apologize that there is no sound but technical issues sometimes do arise nothing can ever be perfect and I am learning that when it comes to making videos so I appreciate your patience and understanding but if anybody is a lip reader, please help me out. <laughs> I wish I'd remember what I was talking about, but that's the thing with, with YouTube. I make videos in advance, so I always have something, some content for you guys, and I don't always remember exactly what I was saying or what I was doing. I hope you guys love this video. Leave a comment down below if you did like this look, are you gonna try this look? Please consider giving me a thumbs up if you liked it, as well as a comment. It's going to help me get to my goal of 500 subs. And guys, once we get there, I'm going to give away some incredible products. I'm excited. And it puts me one step closer to achieving my goals for my channel in 2024. And I would love for you guys to be a part of, I would love for you guys to be a part of that. And if you did like this video, Please consider sharing it on your socials, share with your friends, share with your family, share with the mailman. I mean, heck, if you really like your Amazon delivery driver, share with them. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, of course, we can't forget Bob. What do you guys think of Bob, the new addition to our family? I'm so happy that he's here. He really has brought a lot of joy into my life, and so I'm happy that he's here with us. And of course, roll those blooper reels. Mom's gotta get situated here. <laughs> it's the only bad thing. Coffee break. Gus, knock it off. I can't. That little guy and his little bones. You really wouldn't be able to autofocus hello there we go <laughs>